All right, guys. So this is something I want to start like a new series where I'm going to be combining teaching you guys both freelancing and forex trading across all my platform. Okay, so yeah, it's a beginner start. So if you've tried forex trading before, maybe you're entirely new to forex trading, then you're looking for exactly how to choose a good forex trading broker. What's a good forex trading broker, or what is a forex broker? A forex broker is simply platforms where you can book your trade, which is basically place your trades for. They connect you in real time to the markets out there. So you know, there are tons of people who are exchanging currencies every single day, millions and millions and billions, basically from top companies and from small traders like me and you, retail traders, right? And even maybe medium-sized institutions, right? So how do you know where whether the dollar is going up or it's going down and the rest of that in real time? It's, it's basically by market price and Forex brokers, help you tap into it real time. So you can actually place your money there and make some money out of it, okay? So in this video, it's a very short video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to look at when you're choosing a Forex broker. So I already explained what a Forex broker is. So we're going to go to the first thing that you need to do when you're choosing a Forex broker, right? So the first thing you have to do is you have to choose between a regulated and an unregulated broker. What's a really regulated broker? A regulated broker is basically approved by bodies and it's recognized by financial institutions of the government, basically, or that's basically. So what this means for you is that your money is better well protected and if anything should go wrong, you can simply sue them and you have a very high probability of getting your money back on the rest of that, right? Now, an unregulated broker, on the other hand, is and basically an unsupervised broker. So if anything should go wrong with your money, they can disappear. But here's the trick that a lot of people think. Initially, when I came to the forest market, I was like, um, regulated, regulated broker, good, unregulated broker, bad. And that is not entirely wrong. But there's some unregulated brokers that are still really good. Take a cut for it, for example, right? They are still good and they're still going to pay your money. Doesn't mean that one day the manager decided to pack up and pay, but they've been here for like, I don't know, since I started trading, I've seen them. They're trading around 20, like, I was one of the first things I started that time before I lost a lot of money and decided that let me focus on my freelancing, right? So I'm going to be sure, I'm also going to use a list of forex brokers that you can actually take. But basically, so that's the difference between a regulated broker and an unregulated broker. Our under advantage of using an unregulated broker is that they can get higher leverages and the rest. Right? Because I'm going to show you a regulated broker that way you can also get higher leverage and use that, okay? So it's very important that you choose between a regulated and unregulated broker. Which one works best for you? Personally, I'll tell you to go with your regulated broker so that if anything happens, you know exactly who to track, where to go, and the rest of that, okay? So the next um, step for choosing a Forex broker is very important too. So the next thing you want to look at is ease of deposits and ease of withdrawal. Now, why is this very important? You don't want something that will be stressing your life if you want to withdraw your money or if you want to deposit money, right? When you have to drop through loopholes and the rest of it, you don't want any of that. You also want to look at what is the minimum amount of deposits and what is the minimum amount of withdrawals. Because let's say a broker, um, you the minimum deposit can be like, let's say $50, and the minimum withdrawal is like $500. Makes no sense because in, in reality, it seems like they're there for you, but they just want you to lose your money. Whereas, when, whereas if your minimum deposit can be like $50 you know, or $50 or even $30 and the rest of it, it's better because you know that, okay, once you're winning, you can take your money. And the trading strategy I use, to be honest, I try to pay myself every single, would I find every single day, every single survival trading day, I will withdraw one or two things to pay myself. So that's basically it. So ease of deposits, I will do, um, it's basically, you want to think of the minimum deposit amounts and maximum uh, withdrawal amount or the minimum withdrawal amount. Now, if you are watching this right now and you're thinking, oh, ten dollars, fifty dollars, go and focus on freelancing, learn high paying skills, so you can have enough money to deposit fifty, hundred dollars. How to be thinking at two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars to trade if you actually want to see good results. Okay, so this is the second thing you actually want to look at. Now, the third thing you want to look at when you're choosing a broker that you're going to be to take place a trade. It's simply the spread and the leverage. So what is spread? Spread is simply the difference between the buy and sell price. So that's my next detail. If it's wider on some brokers, because maybe their server is slow and the rest of that, 
then you are going to be losing some money when you enter a trade. You are going to be losing more money when you enter a trade before the trade goes into profit. If it's smaller, the less money you are also going to lose, and the faster the trade can go into profit, and the more um, profit you basically have overall, right? Then for leverage, leverage is simply what helps multiply your money so you can actually trade alongside the big banks and other retail traders. So you're looking for something that has a good leverage of maybe one is to 500 or one is to 1,000. Or that's good like recommended leverage size you want to use. Don't use one is to 2,000, one is to 2,000. Unless you are already a really good trader and you want to flip that. Okay, so that's basically that. So the next thing I'm just going to give you guys on this video it's simply a list of recommended brokers from my own experience as a coach. So the first one I'll mention here is Exynos, right? Exynos is super easy to sign up with. And they have everything. They have an ease of deposits. They have good exchange rates, ease of withdrawal. Whether you're withdrawing from there to your Binance or you're withdrawing to your Nigerian bank account, you're going to get a fucking good exchange rate of at least 800 Naira as current exchange rate. I'll be using myself to be always up to date, right? So Exynos. That's the first one. And they are a regulated broker. They, they have tight spreads, they have small spreads, they have really high leverage, and they're good for flipping accounts in case in the future you become really good and you want to flip $50 to $500 to $1,000, $1,000. And I'll show you guys how to do this as we go on this series, okay? So you can become financially free and rich. So the first one I'll use is X, I'll list is X. The second one I would also um I would recommend is hot forex. So hot forex is not that bad. They are well regulated. They have good spreads. Their spread is not like sweet like Xness in my opinion. But if you are a good forex trader, a little bit difference or zero point one pips difference in, in spreads should not even bother you at any point in time. To be honest, because you know what your analysis is telling you. So obviously, you're always going to win, right? So hot forex is the next one. Now for all regulated brokers, I would only recommend. But Forex, because they are the only one that I've used and I've successfully withdrawn from. So there are other and several different types of brokers out there that I have not used and I cannot recommend. I have not used them. And basically, that's right. Back in 20, I think it was 18 or 19, there was one called JFX that ran away with people's money. It's an African broker or something like that. Basically. So you want to be careful. In one I'm hearing about now in the market buzzing is Quackpaw. Right? And that's a fucking useless broker because a lot of people are saying they're not paying them their money. Right? And you can see that. So you want to make sure that you are using brokers where you can get your money because once you hack forex trading, it's a really, really simple way for you to make millions and millions of naira, or basically thousands of dollars, basically, even in a single day. And the best way to, you can hedge yourself so that you know that you're not losing unnecessarily and your broker is not frustrating your life or the rest of that is to choose a good forex broker okay so down on this video below i'm going to put the link where you can join my free trading channel so I, where i send signals and you can follow them and i'm also going to place my affiliate link for xness now if you use this link what i want you to do i want you to use this link and sign up and before you make a deposit dm me on whatsapp i'll also place a link to my whatsapp number down on this video below now, once you DM me, I'll say, hey, Walter, I used your link. I want you to show me the proof and everything. I want to deposit. That's fine. Once you deposit and you join and I add you to my Signal channel, if for any reason you follow the rules I give to you, following my trading signal, you use my link and the rest of that, you lose your money. Say I gave you bad signal, which I'm not going to do some trades definitely, but you're not going to lose your money, right? And you blew your account. And you follow all the rules I gave you. I'm going to give you some sort of rules manage your risk and manage your account well you have to follow them which help you follow them right you lose your money simply them and say hey Walter what's my money this is this thing not work and I will refund you your entire deposit okay but before you deposit make sure you DM me on WhatsApp so we can get into that agreement so you get so much safer for you to actually get into forex trading instead of getting into forex trading and it helps you down the line okay so this is the link that you can copy right this is basically it I'm also going to place the link down in the comment section. I'm also going to place it in the video description of this. And I will see you guys inside. So I'm going to make more videos like this. I'm going to create more content related around Forex trading and business. So you guys can achieve financial independence, okay? So see you guys in the next video. All right.